Hi guys, Wandersun here. In this video I'm going to teach you how to create a modern search bar that expands when it's in focus. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel please subscribe and activate the notifications so as not to miss any videos. Let's start by creating a Qt quick application project using Python as we learned in the introduction course to Qt quick and PySci 2. I'll start by organizing the project by separating the QML and images files in separate folders, right after changing in the Python main file the interface's initialization path. I have already created two icons in SVG format to streamline the creation process. I recommend you use Inkscape to create your vector icons, it's excellent and free software. To start I will start by changing the background color of the application and its dimensions. I usually use Photoshop or even the color picker function of Qt Creator itself. We will create a new QML file called custom text field in the components folder. This file will be responsible for containing our customized search bar. I will change the visualization to 300 wide and 40 high and import Qt Quick Controls 2.15 into the project. I will create a text field and four new properties that contain the colors of our text field. You can use any colors you want, I will use dark tones of colors for this project, and with a pink tone at the edges when the field is in focus. Add a placeholder to the project and change the font as shown in the video. Add a padding on the left side with the value of 42, and the padding on the right side with the value 35. This will move the text away from the edges. The next step is to add a rectangle as the background, and the radius as 8. Once this is done, create an image that will contain the magnifying glass icon of our text field. Position the icon in the center of the text field as shown in the video and adjust its size if necessary.
In the main.qml file we will import Qt Quick Controls 2.15 and also the folder that contains our custom text field. Remember that the name of these QML components must always start with a capital letter. We can drag the text field we just created to our application and see if everything is working correctly. The next step is to identify when our field is in focus it will expand to the value we set and when it loses focus it will retract. Let's create the first field centered on the application screen. I will also add a standard text field for reference only and also to be able to change the focus of the main field. I will lower the opacity of the image and also create the property animation to put a transition effect between the initial and final size. I will first just adjust the placeholder field correctly. Now we are going to create these animations. Create a property animation as shown in the video where it will change the width to a value of 300 with a duration of 500 milliseconds. After that we can copy and paste this component below changing its ID and value to 40. After that add this function in the parameter on focus changed, in if put text on focus running and in else, text lost focus running, both is true. See that the text is overlapping the icon, I will create a function to clear the text after the text field is retracted. The next step is to create a button to clear the text after it is clicked. We can copy the icon that we created earlier, we will change its position to appear with anchoring on the right side, and also change that icon to another SVG image.
I will adjust the height of this icon and add a function so that it is only displayed when the text field is in focus. The next step is to add a mouse area anchored to the icon we just created. This mouse area will add functions to our icon as if it were a button. See that the mouse area is hindering the click in the field. To solve this just put its visibility as the icon, so it will only be visible when the text field is expanded. See that everything is working correctly now. The next step is to create a QT object to change the colors of the text field as the mouse is over it or even when it is focused. For it to work we need to add this object to the color parameter of the rectangle as shown in the video. See that an error is generated because no standard colors were contracted. So create a function as shown to set the standard and mouse over colors. Next step is to add a pink border to the text text field when it is in focus. Component finished. Now I'm going to show you how to quickly apply this text field, and also how to position it differently. Create a copy of this component, change its ID, and immediately after that place it on the right side of the application as shown in the video. See how cool the infinite applications that we can give to this component. Now I will give an example that when a text is typed and hit the return key on the keyboard, it will take the type text and send it to the text field at the bottom of our application. 
We will use the on return pressed event for this function. You can also add on enter pressed if you wish. We finished here another video. The source code for this project is available for studies for all Patreon supporters. Help the channel by being a supporter on Patreon, this allows me to dedicate more time to create new projects. Thanks to all Patreon supporters. See you in the next video. Thank you.